Hello guys and welcome to this video. In today's video, I will teach you how to make your P3D look as realistic as possible using RD Shade and Reshade. So without further ado, let's get started. The first application we will need to make our P3D V5 look as realistic as possible is RD Shade, which is a brand new shader control application by RD Presets. You can get RD Shade for just under 20 euro on RD Presets website. After successfully buying and installing RD Shade on your computer, you can start the application and uh, you should see something like this. The very first thing we need to do in RD Shade is to go to the settings page. And here we need to make sure that our P3D main location is uh, set to the correct location. So just uh, make sure this is uh, correct. Uh, also make sure that uh, you can find the preset location afterwards. I didn't change this, so I have it in my documents folder. But uh, if you want to uh, put the folder somewhere else, you can you can do so. But just to make sure, uh, you need to find uh, this location afterwards because uh, we will uh, place the preset there, which we will apply in just a second. Here you should see uh, the targeted P3D ver uh, version, which uh, should say the sim version you are currently running. For me it is 5.3.17.28. Uh, the next thing you need to do is to start P3D with RD Shade to make sure that your P3D is actually communicating with RD Shade and that it is connected. Because as you can see, my P3D is now uh, closed, it's not currently running and uh, it says disconnected, trying to connect again. So uh, start your P3D, load a scenario and this dot here should uh, turn from red to green and you should be good to go. All right, now we need to go to the presets folder of RD Shade. In this folder, you should see your targeted P3D version. In my case, it is uh, this one. So uh, I will go into this folder. Uh, this presets folder, that is the folder I was talking about earlier that uh, needs to be set and you need to find it uh, to uh, place the presets uh, in. So let's go to the targeted P3D version, which is this one for me. And uh, let's copy the RD1, which is RD Shade 1 preset. So let's copy this and paste it here. You can find the link to these two presets, which we are working with today, in the description down below. Let's now open RD Shade once again and go to the preset page. And here you should see Open Preset uh, button. So let's click Open. And uh, it should automatically. Uh, select this folder. If not, you will have to guide yourself to this folder and then you just need to click the preset we just uh, put in. So click it so uh, it is highlighted right here. You should see the file name here and then click open. And uh, here you should see uh, a message something like this. Uh, Would you like to apply the loaded HDR settings now? Blah blah blah. You click yes. And then you hit this big green apply button. So let's apply that. As you can see uh, in the top right corner, HDR settings applied, presets applied, everything is good to go. Let's start P3D now. Okay, so here we are with our P3D V5 started. You should already see a big difference, especially in the cockpit. Your cockpit should be a lot brighter. Uh, the scenery uh, around the aircraft should be a lot uh, brighter as well. It uh, should have some uh, fresh new life. And uh, let's make the sim even more realistic with reshade. After closing P3D, we need to download reshade. So let's go over to this website, mediafire.com, uh, where you can find uh, a bit of an older build of Reshade. I prefer uh, this version over the newer ones uh, in P3D V5, so you will find the link to uh, this, uh, to this uh, build in the description down below, so let's just download it. I have it already downloaded here on my desktop, so let's just double click it. And uh, now we need to select our p3d.exe file or prepare3d.exe. Uh, uh, so let's uh, select that. After clicking select, we need to click browse. And now you need to head over to your uh, root p3d5 directory and select the p3d.exe. 
After selecting p3d.exe, you can click open. Which rendering API does p3d.exe use? We are going to click direct3d10 slash 11 slash 12. Uh, as you can see, I have Reshade already installed, uh, so I'm going to click update, but this is the page you should see right now. I recommend downloading all these effects because, for example, my preset works with multiple of these uh, effects. So just click uh, uncheck all and then check all once again and it will select everything for you. And you can click OK and it will start, uh, start downloading the effects for you. Once the installation is finished, it should say reshade setup was successful and you can close this window. And now what we need to do, we need to put uh, our reshade preset into our root b3dv5 directory. So let's do that now. So you just need to go into your root b3dv5 directory, copy the reshade preset and paste it here. And now we can start b3d once again. Once we have our scenario in P3DV5 loaded, you should see a reshade tutorial on your uh, at the top of your screen. Basically, um, you can skip the tutorial by uh, by clicking skip tutorial. Uh, if you do not see anything, uh, try clicking Shift uh, plus Home. Uh, you can find the Home button right above your arrow keys. Uh, so let's press shift and home and uh, you should see reshade uh, window open within your p3dv5 application and uh, we need to set a few, uh, a few things here before we can start uh, using reshade uh, fully let's say so let's head over to the settings page and uh, uh, you need to set the overlay key by default. It should be shift plus home. I have it uh, set to shift plus F2, just personal preference. Uh, then you need to set the uh, effect toggle key, which is basically the key you will turn uh, reshade on and off. I have it to shift plus uh, F9. Uh, I will show you that in a second. Another important thing to mention is that uh, you need to set a screenshot path and a screenshot key in Reshade because if you want to take screenshots during your flights, you need to, uh, with your Reshade uh, preset applied and Reshade running, you need to take the screenshot using Reshade, otherwise uh, the Reshade uh, preset or the things that reshade does to your simulator the shaders they won't be visible in the screenshot if you take the screenshot via the default screenshot system in p3d if that makes any sense <laughs> i hope it does so uh just basically you need to set the screenshot key and the screenshot path uh, otherwise, uh, if you keep using the generic screenshot system in P3D, uh, which uh, you can set the key in settings in the controls, uh, then uh, it won't be visible, reshade in those uh, screenshots. So just to make sure uh, to set this up and these two as well. And now we can go uh, back to the home page and uh, here click uh, on this uh, big blue bar here and uh, you should see uh, folders in your root p3dv5 directory and uh, we need to select our reshade preset that we copied to our p3dv5 root directory in our case it is re1 reshade1 so let's uh, select that and click select and uh, now we need the effect toggle key, uh, which we uh, bound in settings just uh, earlier. So let's uh, press that. And as you can see, we already have something going on in the simulator. So let's close the reshade interface by clicking shift home uh, by default. So we have some, uh, some uh, better view. And we can now shift uh, F9 for me. Uh, effect toggle key and we can see the difference between the reshade actually doing its job in p3d and uh, when it's off so here you have it here is how the sim looks here you have some screenshots from my flights how uh, my sim uh, looks at the moment i think it looks uh, pretty realistic as you know uh, i have i've uh, already uh, created some uh, tutorials on how to make your p3d look great and uh, amazing 
uh, I think uh, those uh, tutorials are uh, more of uh, some uh, saturation vibe, uh, let's say. Uh, the sim looks uh, very good, but uh, these settings, these presets are made uh, to make your P3D look as realistic as possible. So the closest to the real life. Uh, for example, in uh, my previous video, uh, video in the very first tutorial, uh, the reshade preset I use there is uh, has some uh, has some haze. Uh, it has some more bloom to it as well, so it looks uh, more uh, stunning uh, in the actual simulator. But uh, this one, I think, is the most realistic out of uh, all uh, these uh, three videos I've made, including this one. So I hope you will like uh, this outcome, because uh, I'm in love with this, uh, actually. It looks uh, super cool. Uh, it uh, makes the uh, flying experience in P3D just uh, much, much better. So uh, I hope you like it as well. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like uh, and subscribe button. It helps me a lot. Uh, as I've already mentioned, all the important links are in the description down below. So check it out and you will be right there with me at every single stage uh, in the video. Uh, also, Stay tuned to the channel, I have some cool MSFS and P3D stuff as well planned for you guys, so it will come in a very short amount of time, and until next time, take care.